On this episode of In the Garage, we're talking a stage one high clearance for a fifth gen 4Runner. Made popular by Southern Style Off-Road, uh, you may have seen on the internet there's a Stage 2 high clearance. Now this Stage 2 high clearance, um, what it basically does is it attaches to their front bumper and then it comes up, uh, it cuts a line just slightly below um, the cutouts or the indentations on these 5th Gen 4Runners. What it actually does is it opens up the wheel well. This allows for a little bit better attack angle when trying to scale obstacles with a 5th Gen 4Runner. While I am a big fan, of that, of that high clearance, it is a little bit too aggressive for my taste. So what we have decided to do is I've consulted with a few other people on exactly how you would go about doing a slightly less aggressive uh, chop of the front bumper of the 4Runner. That's what we're gonna get into today. We're gonna walk you guys through the exact process and show you the final result. So let's get going. Okay, so getting started. The first step in this process, like when doing any cutting, is to determine your line. For this project, I decided that the line that we were gonna cut on was going to be about an inch below where the bumper begins to turn back towards the tire. Keeping that in mind, I used some masking tape, picked my line, and laid down a strip of masking tape to indicate the point at which I would be cutting. Once you lay down the primary line, you'll want to determine exactly where you want to cut through the artificial fender on the truck. You can continue with the exact same line that you have coming up from the bottom, which will give you an angled cut into your fender, or you can do as we have here and simply decide to square off the cut at the point of the fender. With the next step, Prior to cutting, you are going to want to remove the two bolts that fasten the front uh, face of the bumper to the metal attachment that comes off from the crash bar that sticks out into the front of the vehicle. This will ensure that you do not make contact with this metal frame when you begin your cutting process. As with any project, before we begin cutting, we'll want to make sure to have our safety glasses. For this cut, I'm going to be opting for my Dremel tool. The objective is to cut about a half inch below the masking tape, which will allow for some error. Don't worry in this process if your line is not exactly straight, as we'll be correcting that later. I chose to begin cutting in the middle, working my way out towards the ends, but you can start from whichever end you see fit. Before you cut all the way through, it is noted a special cut is required at the very bottom of the bumper to ensure that you're able to mount the bumper securely back to the vehicle. Once the rest of the cuts have been made, you're going to want to begin the process of filing down the uneven or the excess parts of the bumper you have left behind. I would recommend something a little less aggressive than a grinder as we are dealing with very soft surfaces here. I opted for a rotary sander using 40 grit sandpaper to accomplish this task. Thank you. 
Once we finish sanding the bumper down to a smooth and consistent surface, we will want to begin the process of trimming the inner fender liner to match our new angle for the bumper. This can be accomplished with a box knife or even a simple pair of household scissors. Once we have finished all the cutting, the last step is going to be to bend the end of the metal attachment piece that comes off the crash bar back and away as to hide it from sight, and then reattach the bottom tab of the bumper back to the crash bar. So that's how you complete the stage one high clearance on your fifth gen 4Runner. Now this isn't designed to give you maximum approach angle. For that I would recommend contacting Southern Style Off-Road and going for their, their full stage two chop. What this is for is to give you a slightly more aggressive look, open up just a little bit more of the tire um, to poten for potentially you know, scaling tougher obstacles um, and it does give it a little bit more aggressive look. The stage one is also designed to still give you maximum rigidity within the plastic bumper without actually having to have uh, aftermarket support uh, to prevent the bumper from becoming loose and flimsy. So folks, that's the end of this video. If you, if you enjoyed it, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was helpful, um, we would appreciate hearing that in the comments. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to shoot us a direct message. Find us on Overland Network TV on Instagram. Hit us up in the, in the comments down below and let us know what your thoughts are on this little process. That's going to be the end of this episode. This has been Rustin with Overland Network TV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.